to bypass the digital timer using selector switch and how to perform the wiring is going to be discussed through this video. So friends, let's start the video. Friends, I have the digital timer right now which is also known as time switch. This digital timer I have now is manufactured by CNC company and you can see the model number here. Here on this timer, you can see total 4 terminals are provided for connections. By looking at these, you can do the connection but still I am going to tell you how to do it. To provide input power supply to the timer, I am using a MCB. What I will do is, at this terminal of MCB, where I receive phase supply, connect a wire at this terminal. The other end of the wire is to be connected with L terminal in timer. So I connected the wire with the L terminal. We also need to provide neutral power supply. For this, from the second terminal of MCB, where we receive neutral power supply, at this terminal, connect a wire. Other end of the wire is to be connected with N terminal of timer. So here we provided input power supply to the timer. Now at these output terminals of timer, whatever load you want to connect, you can connect and operate easily. For now, I am using a lamp. I am connecting both the wires of the lamp with the output terminals of timer. This means for now, this timer will turn on and off this load. So here, our normal required connections are completed. If I turn on this MCB, you can see lamp is still not glowing. For lamp to glow, we need to do some programming in timer which I will explain you later. For now, at this timer, you can see the auto manual switch. By pressing this switch, I will manually turn on the lamp. First, I have to remove this lock symbol by pressing this button. Press this cancel button three times. By pressing this, lock symbol is removed and after this, press this auto manual button. You can see this has moved from off to auto. If I press one more time, you can see here on is written. If I want to turn off this, then press this button. You can see auto is written. On again pressing button, you can see off is displayed. Means it turned off the lamp. Right now you can see by buttons, I am manually turning on and off the lamp. If you don't want to bypass the timer with these buttons, rather from far away distance you want to bypass the timer, for that you have to use a selector switch. With the help of selector switch, we are going to bypass the timer. How to perform the wiring of this selector switch? Let's understand. So whatever selector switch you will use, at the back side of selector switch, NO contact must be present. As you can see, two NO contacts are connected. At the input terminal of selector switch, connect two wires. One is for phase supply and second one is for neutral power supply. At the back side of selector switch, you have to connect two wires. I am connecting one black wire for output neutral supply and one yellow wire for output phase supply. At these two terminals, L and N, connect these two wires. So I am connecting these wires here. After connecting these wires, these two wires are left. These wires need to be connected with output load. Keep one thing in mind, connect neutral wire with neutral supply terminal and phase wire with phase supply terminal. If you do the reverse connection, there will be a short circuit. Connections with the selector switch to bypass the timer is done. Before understanding the working of timer, let us first understand the programming of timer. To perform programming in this timer, there is no need to turn on the power supply. Because there is a battery connected inside, through this battery, this display works. When you are going to use this timer for first time, you have to program the time. Press this clock button once, after this, press the R button. When you press R button, you can see R time changes. Whatever time is there at present, select the time accordingly. I am selecting 21, means 9 o'clock at night is the time. After this, press minute button and then you can change the minute timing. So I program the time as 21 hour 25 minute. Now we have to select the day, that is which day is there at present. It is showing Wednesday. So press week button, Thursday is written, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So Sunday is now selected. After selection, press the clock button. Your programming will be saved. Now you have to set the time in this timer for which you have to turn on and off the load. For this, press setup button. After pressing this, you can see one on is written here means we have to set first programming for turning on the load. By pressing R button, you can set the time. As I previously selected 9 o'clock night, so let it be 21. Now let us set the minute as 27, means at 2127, the load will be turned on. After this, we can select the day also. Press the week button, you can see Monday is written. It means on Monday only, this timer will turn on the load at this time. On again pressing, it's Tuesday. Similarly, you can select the different days. Now it is showing for 3 days, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. 
after this it is tuesday thursday saturday similarly you can select any day for now from monday to sunday i am selecting whole week means for whole week i have the programming to turn on the load now you have to program that at what time load must be turned off for this again press this setup button as you press the button you can see one off is written means set the programming to turn off the load we programmed 2127 for turning on the load so i am setting 2129 for turning off the load after selecting the time select the days and after selection of days press the setup button for doing second programming you can do this second programming in similar way for now i am performing only this much programming on pressing the clock button i can exit from the programming so you understood how programming is done in this timer now we will understand the working of timer before understanding the working we have to again set the time because right now the time is 9:33 we have to set on time as 9:35 and off time as 9:36 so time is programmed and i am coming out of programming the moment the time becomes 9:35 our load will automatically turn on you just saw that on reaching 35 minute load turned on this load will remain on for 1 minute because we programmed the time for 1 minute in this timer the moment time reaches 36 the load will automatically turned off you just saw that on reaching 36 minute load automatically turned off so this was our programming for turning on and off the load through timer now if you want to bypass this timer means you directly want to turn on the load then select selector switch to on position on turning the switch on the load also turned on how this system is working is the incoming power supply from here is connected at this point so from here only we provided power supply to selector switch when we turn on the switch the power goes to output terminal means directly power is supplied from this to this point and load is turned on on turning off switch load also turned off on turning switch on load turns on i hope you learned something new from this video if you learned something new give like on my video if you didn't subscribe the channel yet please subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video